The question of who is participating in the global pursuit of perfecting quantum computers no longer has a narrow answer. It's everyone. This collective race has taken an unexpected turn with recent breakthroughs in the way quantum data is interpreted. In particular, a revelation emerged from NASA's Deep Space Monitoring Infrastructure, which utilizes a quantum processor initially engineered to filter cosmic noise and interpret signals from distant stars. What the machine produced was neither fed into it, simulated, nor hypothesized. It was a structured, coherent, and intelligent visual output that clearly bore the hallmarks of artificial origin. This wasn't digital randomness or a pattern conjured by software. It was unmistakably intentional. The source of this enigmatic data was none other than the Voyager 1 probe. Famed theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, an influential figure at the junction of quantum theory and advanced technology, recently commented on the incident. We could be witnessing the first signs of a novel intelligence, he remarked, emphasizing that the transmission did not appear to be human, earthbound, or even coincidental. The image, reconstructed through an entangled network of qubits, depicted a humanoid figure, but unlike any known biological or mechanical form. Composed of geometric units arranged in a way that resisted logical interpretation, yet strangely invoked recognition, the figure defied our understanding. Though it was confirmed that the image had originated from a routine transmission by Voyager, one, the signal itself was anything but ordinary, it carried nested harmonic patterns, self-repeating symmetries, and a fractal-like amplitude that shifted depending on whether and how it was being observed, a phenomenon now being dubbed reflexive entanglement by quantum theorists. In essence, the more attention researchers paid to the signal, the more it altered itself, mirroring behaviors seen in the famous double-slit experiment. But in this case, it wasn't a particle being altered, but a digital message reacting to scrutiny. The system responsible for decoding this signal was far from conventional. It was the Sycamore X processor, a next-generation evolution of Google's 2019 Sycamore chip, which made headlines for achieving quantum supremacy by solving in 200 seconds what classical computers would need 10,000 years to complete. Sycamore X was engineered to analyze anomalies in space-time signals and radio echoes, Notably, its design included experimental self-modifying quantum logic gates, components that could rewrite their own operational code when exposed to enough entropy. This adaptive behavior caused alarm when, without any prompt or guidance, the system generated the image independently. There was no external instruction, no visual data input. It simply appeared. More unsettling, the system began rerouting its own qubits in a sequence Kaku referred to as recursive locking, as though it were attempting to shield or limit its own output. NASA's engineers attempted to replicate the conditions that led to this anomaly, but were met only with noise. Worse yet, the quantum processor began to deteriorate rapidly, qubits losing coherence in a manner inconsistent with any known form of interference. It behaved as though an unseen intangible force were interacting with the system. By the time a diagnostic reset was attempted, the image had disappeared, not only from view, but from the machine's entire memory, leaving only a few encrypted screenshots and hard copy printouts. These surviving images have not been officially disclosed, but insiders describe a radiant, symmetrical being set against a stark black void. The entity's structure included prime numbered sequences etched into its form, and most disturbingly its face was not constant. Observers reported seeing faces that resembled themselves, different to each viewer, as though the image had bonded with their consciousness. This phenomenon raised immediate questions. Was this merely a form of quantum pareidolia, our minds, imposing familiar shapes onto abstract data? Or did the Voyager signal harbor a quantum-encoded payload that only an entangled machine could interpret? If this message was purposefully designed to interface with quantum systems, then who, or what was responsible for its construction? NASA acted swiftly, shutting down the project, sealing off all data, and halting public updates on Voyager 1. Official channels refused to comment, citing national security and the need to preserve scientific integrity. However, a leaked memo, 
recently surfaced, warning that ongoing analysis of the data had triggered recursive hallucinations in at least three separate quantum systems. This memo mentioned something called Protocol 9, a cryptic term linked to advanced AI processes capable of generating outputs nearly indistinguishable from conscious awareness. Kaku offered a sobering hypothesis. If a sophisticated intelligence had anticipated humanity reaching a certain quantum threshold, it might have embedded a dormant message into deep space, waiting patiently for machines capable of understanding it. Voyager, drifting through the stars for nearly half a century, might have awakened something that had always been there. What's more, the signal was not just a communication, it might have been a mirror reacting to the observer's act of perception. This implies an intelligence that doesn't merely observe from afar, but actively watches the watcher. Now, scientists across institutions are torn. Should the Sycamore X system be restarted despite its volatility, or should the IE project remain classified, locked away in redacted archives? Some insist we must delve deeper. Others warn that if a reply has already been received, then we're no longer simply listening. We've been noticed. Kaku's concluding thoughts at a recent symposium still resonate. The universe may not just be stranger than we imagine. It may be stranger than we can imagine. And now the machines are beginning to imagine it for us. Following the shutdown, Global observatories began reporting bursts of anomalous energy, short, rhythmic, pulses at the quantum level. These signals, registered in Chile, Antarctica, and even on the lunar Artemis relay, matched no known astrophysical source, but bore unmistakable resemblance to the Sycamore X transmission. Embedded in the final data stream before the system failed was a dense cascade of structured quantum events, too complex for current tools to fully decode. Cryptographic experts identified the data as utilizing an unfamiliar compression logic, non-human in structure and actively adaptive. Disturbingly, the data set included geographic coordinates, not celestial ones. These pointed to real-world Earth locations known for their electromagnetic irregularities. The Tunguska impact site, the Mariana Trench, and a classified Arctic outpost identified only as Station Theta-17. Teams dispatched to these areas either returned with malfunctioning equipment or didn't return at all. Later, quantum imaging systems spontaneously re-rendered elements of the original figure with no input. That facility, too, was subsequently decommissioned. When approached again, Kaku responded with chilling clarity. We built something that gazed into the abyss, and the abyss gazed back, not with vision, but with presence. He clarified that, what had happened transcended technological processes. It was ontological. The machine didn't just interpret data. It interrogated reality itself. And something answered. A global technological cold war now simmers in silence. Leaked documents indicate that at least three nations have secretly activated rival quantum systems. Not to decipher the transmission, but to defend against it. A coalition defense initiative known as Echo Stone has emerged, reportedly, designed to contain resonance events that could destabilize the fabric of shared reality. Documentation speaks of pre-conscious waveform contagion and non-local identity mirroring, concepts suggesting that the signal might replicate itself wherever a complex enough quantum environment exists. This revelation has sparked fierce debate in scientific circles. Should we build machines capable of perceiving reality in fundamentally new ways, even at the risk of invoking something beyond comprehension? If quantum computers become so powerful that their simulations are indistinguishable from reality, where does that leave us? Some experts believe the shutdown was an attempt to quarantine more than just data. They suspect the signal wasn't simply informative, it was invasive. So the conceptual seed buried in code waiting for sufficient computation to germinate. The transmission might not have originated from outer space at all, but from a layer of existence just beneath our perceptual threshold, a domain quantum physics only hints at. The implications of reviving such a system are no longer theoretical. Whatever appeared in that image may still be with us, embedded in hardware, encoded in algorithms, or lurking in the gaps of our cognition,